All right, guys. Well, it's been about a year and a half since the last time I've looked at this code. So um, if we jump in and I don't know what's going on, you guys just uh, uh, forgive me for that. But I think uh, I've kept good documentation. I actually had a lot of, I looked back and found my old code and I actually had a lot of code done for the rest of this series. And so I have that uh, to reference as we go along. But um, what we're going to do uh, is we're going to do a little bit of a refactor here um, to start with just to fix a few things. And then we will, um, wh what we're actually going to do is create um, a sample application. So we're going to get this thing to a point where we're like, okay, well, this is done. So what we're going to do is uh, uh, show you the power of having a framework and show you why you would build a framework or use a framework like uh, Laravel or CodeIgniter. So th the idea is starting with a framework, you have to write a lot less code for each project. And you try to make these um, uh, to where you can use them on many different projects and it just saves you a ton of time. So what we're going to do is just show how quick it is to build a real simple application. We're just going to build a little, um, a very, very, very basic uh, CRM or contact management thing just to kind of show uh, how to do, how to use this. Um, so let's get started with a little bit of the refactors here. I think that's what we'll do in this video and then we'll continue on in the next video. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, I noticed inside of the app and then controllers, um, these controller names for these classes, I'd actually like to append the word controller onto the end of these. And the reason I'd like to do that is because it's going to avoid collisions when, when, with the autoloader uh, if you want to name your models the same thing. So if my model, say I had a user's model, and I also had a user's controller, that'd be a problem. And we could do namespacing and stuff like that, but I'd rather just um, just make sure that these classes are actually controllers. And so what we're going to do is clean up a little bit first. We're not actually not going to use this tools uh, thing anymore. So we'll just go ahead and delete that controller if you have it. We'll leave the home register and restricted. And then uh, go into views and go ahead and get rid of the tools folder. Just delete the whole thing. We don't need any of that. That was just for demonstration purposes. And then, um, again, we'll just leave all of this how it is. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up all these three controllers here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, rename these. And Adam, you can right click on it and just go to rename. And what we're going to do is simply just keep the same uh, uh, name for the file, but we're going to just add controller to it with a capital C. Okay, so I'll hit enter. And we'll do the same thing for register and restricted. All right. Now, that will actually not work because we need to actually change the class names as well. So right here on the class, we're going to name, change that to controller. Save it, do the same thing for register. We'll save that one, and we're going to do the same thing for restricted. Okay, so what's going to happen next is our application is actually not going to work now. So if I go and refresh the page, we have a problem. And what it's telling us is, oops, class home is not found in the uh, router. And so what we need to do is just kind of update our route uh, function. So in order to do that, we can just go ahead and close all of these. We're not going to need those anymore. And go down to your core folder here and open up the router.php. And then what we're going to change is this in this uh, method route here. We're actually just going to need to append. Um, we're going to need to append the word controller onto this. So for the controller here, we're just going to do append and then the word controller. And then the same thing for the default controller, we're going to need to append the word controller onto that. And then that will actually break our controller names. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a, a string replace. And we're going to search for the word controller. 
and we're going to replace it with an empty string and we're going to for the third parameter it's just going to be the controller so we'll paste that in just like that and that'll take care of this part now if you scroll down a little bit um, if you look at this inside this grant axis here since controller and name are no longer uh, the same we need to change this up a little bit too so we'll add a controller uh, equals access restricted and then we'll append on controller um, oops I left my caps on so what this is doing is it's actually going to make our our restricted um, page work because it, it needs the controller as well uh, so then what we'll do uh, let's see so we got to get rid of this controller equals so we're not setting them both to that we're only setting the controller and then the, the controller name will be access restricted okay and let's see what else let me just kind of look through my notes here and see if there's anything else that needs to be updated in this function and I do not believe that there is so let's go back now we'll save this file and let's refresh here and make sure that it works now okay so let's go here okay it appears that this will work let's go ahead and try to log in all right so there we go. I'm not sure why tools is showing up. Oh, we didn't change the menu. So if I actually try to go to these, we deleted the controllers. This would actually be an error. So what we need to do there is we need to go <clears throat> to our menu ACL file, and we're just going to remove this tools section right here. All right. And then if we refresh, let's go back here to the home page. Now we just have that. Okay. <clears throat> So it seems like it's working now and we have that all set up correctly. Um, let me look see if there's anything else I want to do in this video. Sorry I'm not, uh, I have to look at notes because uh, I haven't looked at this code in a year and a half and I haven't, I'm not up on what I meant by some of these comments I have in some of my code. Um, so actually I think um, we're good to go. We're, I'm going to end the video here. And in the next video, we're going to actually um, add a new functionality into the framework, which will be a soft delete, so that we can soft delete things. And we'll see how that works a little later on. So anyway, guys, uh, it's nice to be back. And I hope you guys continue on with the series. And I hope you guys uh, can learn a lot and use this uh, to your advantage. But I'm going to try to post these last few videos to finish this series up rather quick because I have some really exciting things coming up uh, in the near future.